Hi there, and in this video, we'll be looking at the strategy of creating secondary sending domains to scale up your cold email for more replies, more revenue. So then you can really increase your volume when you're doing the outreach and reach more of your target audience. So to give you a little bit an overview of what I mean with secondary send sending domains, these are just domains that are similar to your main domains. So top level domains work best, you know, like .com. Uh, I always prefer uh, myself, uh, .com domains, you know, agency tech. There's these two out there, but you know, if you can go with the .com. So let's say, you know, funny example here, just to, to make it memorable is shrimp.com. So let's say your business is shrimp.com, then buy domains like getshrimp.com, uh, try shrimp.com, um, shrimplabs.com, shrimppro.com, tastyshrimpapp.com, and so on. So just to illustrate this example on, on how it will help you scale. So already looking at shrimp.com, your secondary domains can be trashrimp.com, shrimpapp, shrimplabs, shrimpscale, shrimppro, and so on. And then, you know, you wouldn't be sending, you wouldn't do, be doing your cold outreach from your main domain. It's not something we recommend, but if you really want to, you know, have the best results, send up secondary domains from which you do the outreach, uh, like I, I shown you here. So just buy these additional uh, domains, you know, domains are cheap these days. Uh, anyway, they've, they've always been cheap, 10 bucks uh, or whatever it is. And then for each domain, you can set up three to five email accounts. So these are inboxes, right, with which you reach out to your target audience. Let's say your target audience, sorry, CEOs, CFOs, head of business development, founders, whoever it may be, but you need those email, additional email accounts to reach out to them. So let's say, for example, uh, you set up your, your main domain is shrimp.com. You set up a secondary domain just for your cold outreach, tryshrimp.com. And let's say your name, a name is John Smith. You're just going to you know, set up a john.smithtryshrimp.com. So with each email address, each inbox, you can do 30 to 50 emails a day. So you can see how if you have three to five inboxes per secondary domain, how you can really scale up campaigns, right? You can send more volume without raising any red flags while and keep keeping deliverability high. So in this example, right, I listed five secondary sending domains here. Let's say each one has three inboxes, john.smith, tryshrimp, john.s at tryshrimp, j.smith at tryshrimp.com. In total, there's gonna to be 15 cold email accounts with which you can do outreach. So you really have like 15 at your disposable disposal unit. It's always good to have a little bit more um, in case one goes down or, you know, more importantly, if you see a campaign is working really well, you say, okay, look, this target audience is really resonating with this messaging that I'm, that I'm sending out. I'm getting a lot of replies. Let me scale it up even more. Like if you see that something's working, you can double down on it and just drop more cold email inboxes into that campaign so they can reach more people more quickly. Uh, so in this particular example, we have three inboxes per domain. We have five sec secondary sending domains, three times five, 15 cold email inboxes. Let's say each one is sending 30 a day. You can easily, with very good deliverability and consistency, also longevity, send 450 emails uh, per day. So this is how you can scale up your outreach and reach more of your target audience. Uh, then also something I'd recommend is, you know, all the secondary dom secondary sending domains. If someone types in tryshrimp.com, just make sure it redirects to shrimp.com, right? Because sometimes before somebody responds to a cold email, they'll check out your domain. They want to see what it's what it's about. So having a good landing page there is good. And then you know you don't have to build a separate land landing page for your secondary domains. It will just redirect to your shrimp.com, uh, and they'll, they'll see a little bit more about you and they say, okay, like this looks legit. Let me reply to this cold email. And uh, yeah, so this is really how you can scale. Uh, your campaigns, you know, usually with cold email tools, you'd have to pay for each one of these inboxes, 30, 50 bucks or whatever it, whatever it is. So you can see if you have 15, 
and it costs you 30 bucks per inbox that's per seat that is that is connected that will cost you 450 a month with instantly you can do all of that all of that volume you can do with a hyper growth plan which is 97 which is significantly cheaper we have some users you know they come in they're spending two three thousand with other tools and they can do everything on the hyper growth plan and they can really scale the campaigns and get more replies and, and uh, without uh, crazy costs so this is the concept of secondary sending domains you know just set them up here you know the whiteboard will be illustrated also as a quick hack uh if you want to quickly see you know which ones are available i recommend name cheap beast mode uh, just to get additional ideas and right you have these ideas of what could work but let's say you go to you go to the main website you click on um you click on beast mode here and then uh, you're here and let's say you know again example shrimp just put in one of the keywords and then it will give you ideas you know because sometimes you'll, you'll try a domain and it's not there and it's a little bit tedious but here this will quickly show you what's available and you can really quickly like you know buy a bunch of domains um, so just go TLD here I always select only.com I click hide unavailable and then this is a neat feature prefix suffix so just enable that and you know some of the stuff that we said try get uh, app labs and so on uh, it will just pull that up so let's see uh, and then I also want to you know reduce the price range so it doesn't show me expensive domains just have to have a, a regular uh, .com domain let's click generate So yeah, let's see what's available here. And like, this is really neat, right? It will quickly show you uh, what's out there, what's available. Let's see if it loads up a little bit more. More example with the... Okay, so I, I was just running this and it's a little bit funny because a bunch of them, I mean, I would suppose that a bunch of them are already taken in our shrimp example uh but let's see so let's say you know i'm buying a couple more sending domains for instantly because we're also uh you know doing our we're using instantly to grow instantly uh so let's take another example here let's say i've just i've just had instantly what kind of secondary sending domains we see here just just so i can show you a couple more examples of, of what that would look like in practice no not that many uh Uh, instantly and then you can also just put in a keywords that are related uh, positive replies warm up yeah any any keywords that might be related to your offer uh, you can you can add them here but let's say you know let's take this simple example again uh, you get my point anyway like we, we put some prefixes suffixes uh, around our primary keyword here put dot com generate a couple of results and then you here you quickly see it will generate those results it will mix and match and then you can just grab okay try shrimp meat shrimp open shrimp blue shrimp uh, and just either buy it directly from namecheap or just yeah here you see that it's available great and then you can go to your uh to to godaddy and buy it from there i mean namecheap and godaddy both are pretty much the same thing and both are good um so you can buy from here or, or go to your domain name provider but this way you quickly see okay which one of the secondary do sending domains that you want to use are available and uh yeah that's it so to recap you know just if you want to scale campaigns i recommend this strategy this method um of sending it up that way scale your volume and a name cheap beast mode is a good way to you know uh quickly find what's find out what's available and quickly buy it and then uh you're up and running all right hope this was uh useful and uh, talk to you soon.